r slash am i the a-hole am i the a-hole for moving to another country while pregnant and kidnapping my husband's baby i met my boyfriend four years ago when we were both working for the same company in japan he is australian i am italian i've been living in australia for the last 1.5 years i am here on a partner visa i am currently three months pregnant and i thought we were both happy However, I only just found out that he's been having an affair with a co-worker for the last 6 months. At first he denied it but I had proof so he changed to begging me for forgiveness and that we could work it out and all this bullshit. But I don't want to. I'm done. I don't want to be with a cheater. I broke up with him and already moved into an Airbnb. I'm planning on going back to Italy because I have nothing here apart from my pose ex. I let him know today. He flipped out and told me I can't do that. He said I'd be kidnapping our child and that I'm not allowed to leave. But I've made up my mind. I already talked to my parents and I can live with them until I have figured everything out. I'll likely get my old high paying job back so I'm not worried. However, all of my ex's friends have been texting and calling me all day saying I'm a puss for stealing his baby and that they will take legal action. I don't think they can and I wouldn't be allowed to stay anyway since I'm on a partner visa and this partnership doesn't exist anymore. Am I the a-hole for going home? NTA. After the baby is born, your ex can file for custody. You are pregnant and vulnerable and need to be in a supportive environment. Get out now. As soon as possible. NTA. But this legal situation will get a lot more complicated if you have this kid while in Australia. You aren't kidnapping his baby. Yes. You are making it more difficult for him to see his child. But he has options. They are more expensive and difficult options once you move to Italy. But those difficulties are the natural result of his own actions. You should not feel obligated to make his life easier for him. If he's genuinely interested in being a real father to your child, he will figure out a way to do it. It's not your job to make that easy for him. I don't think it would be right for you to actively oppose him seeing his child, as horrible partners can still make decent parents. But I think he's still being a selfish, immature jerk if he thinks the solution to this is him getting all of his friends to harass you into staying in the country to make this easier for him. Am I the a-hole for buying my wife a room before Christmas? This happened last year but since it still gets brought up during arguments every now and then and I just discovered this subreddit I decided to check what you guys think. Me and my wife have two children, 15f and 11m. My wife is a stay at home mom since the birth of our second child. I, 46m, work full time and earn a 6 figure salary. My job is highly stressful, requires me to travel a lot and mostly sleep in hotels. I only get to come home to my family on every second weekend. On average, despite working a lot, I am glad to do it so that my family can live a comfortable life. Last year, I decided to buy my wife a room before Christmas. My wife tends to be the one who vacuums the house so I presume that she would like this present as it would free her of this chore. As she unpacked the present, she was heavily offended and did not hesitate to show it. Which made the whole situation quite uncomfortable as my parents and other members of the family were also present. She argued that this should not be a present directed at her but at the whole family, as it is the entire family's responsibility to clean up the house. Since I work and am the sole source of income in the family and she is a stay at home mother, I think it is apparent that she should take on responsibilities such as taking care of the kids and maintaining the house. The gift was intended to somewhat relieve her of this burden. I, personally, would have loved to have received a Christmas gift that would have somehow made it possible for me to spend less time working. As cheesy as it sounds, I think that time is one of the most precious gifts and that Roomba would have definitely bought some time for her. Time that she could use to do whatever she pleased instead of vacuuming. Unfortunately, one year later, this still often gets brought up during arguments, often coupled with her crying. So, am I the a-hole in this situation? Itter. That's a gift for the household and not her. It shows you primarily regard her as a housekeeper and not a partner. What interests does she have that are not about serving you and the family? Seriously? I'd be giving my husband daily blowjobs for a month if I got a room before Christmas. It would free up some time for me. Possibly terrify the kids into keeping their crap better picked up. And duck with the dogs at the same time. OP. 
This is an OA holes here sign of miscommunication. You saw it as something nice that takes a duty that she generally manages off of her plate. She sees it as proof that you view her as a glorified cleaning lady. I suspect that the Roomba isn't the problem. It's symbolic of whatever other miscommunications are present in your marriage. Itter. This is a rookie mistake. Husband thinks wife will appreciate a machine to make her work easier. Wife thinks my husband sees me primarily as a housekeeper and not as a romantic partner. If you want to relieve her of this one burden, that's a nice thought. But don't make it a Christmas gift. Make it a contribution to the welfare of the household. That's what your wife meant when she said this should not be a present directed at her but at the whole family. Itta. You literally bought her a gift that shows her and the extended family that was there that you think of her as your housemaid. I would also cry over it. Yikes. Ata for not making a big deal about my daughter's coming out. My English is horrible I apologize for any mistakes. I am 42 was watching TV with my daughter F16 when my other daughter F13 came up to me and started talking to me about how she thinks she's gay and has been for a few months. I responded the usual I will always love you no matter what. You love who you wanna love. And went back to what I was doing. She responded, that's it? And I said well what else do you wanna talk about? She said, I came out to you which was the hardest thing for me to do and you don't even care. Then she got angry and stormed upstairs and my older daughter seemed pissed at me. Now I am very confused about what I did wrong. Reddit, am I the a-hole? No a-holes here because she's 13 and 13 year olds are kind of natural a-holes a lot of the time. But I turned the conversation into it sounds like you weren't sure if I would be okay with this. And that's very concerning to me. Let's talk about what made you think that so I can fix it for the future. If she makes that into a fight. She's just an a-hole for real. But she may still grow out of it. Cross fingers. All this is assuming you haven't actually given her a reason to think you wouldn't be okay with this. If you did, you're an a-hole. NTA. She built this up in her head. Quiet acceptance is a valid option. No a-holes here you should talk to her though and say that her sexuality matters a lot but that you didn't think it would change much. Am I the a-hole for ordering 50 trees? So background information. I'm 19. Still live at home senior year in high school. A week ago, I ordered 50 trees because my favorite tree farm was shutting down. When my mom found out, she got mad and hasn't talked to me since. I've ordered trees from there before and paid for everything myself. The trees are still very small, around 30 centimeters tall, and won't grow over 2 meters till I have already moved out. I will take them with me. The trees stay in containers so they are easily movable. I didn't feel like I needed to ask my mom first, because I'm an adult and can buy what I want. So, tell me, am I the a-hole reddit? Edit. Forgot to add. I already have 58 trees I bought a year ago. I did inform her I was purchasing those and she was okay with that and helped me bring them home. WTF is this noise? Who has a favorite tree farm? WTF are you doing with 50 trees? Too weird. 50 plus the existing 58. This kid has over 100 trees to his name. Itta. I didn't feel like I needed to ask my mom first. Because I'm an adult and can buy what I want. Not exactly. When you live at home rent free you don't get to flood the backyard with your landscaping inventory without first talking with the homeowners. The land you live on does not belong to you. Info. Do you have some strange affinity for trees? For example. Are you a squirrel? Wood elf? Or rent? I plead the fifth. Itta. You should have asked if you can store 50 trees in your mum's garden for 2 years before you ordered them. Impheo so now you have 108 trees? I'm laughing so hard. Itta and you've got a problem lol. Just because you're an adult doesn't mean you can fill your parents backyard with trees dude. Not everyone is that into trees. Why are you buying so many freaking trees lol. I'm ducking cracking up I think this is my favorite am I the a hole post so far. Am I the a-hole for throwing my wife's cooking in the trash and yelling after I told her I didn't want it? My wife, 29, and I, 32, share cooking responsibilities about 50 stroke 50. We are childless so we just cook for ourselves. We have a system where we try to plan out our dinners a few days in advance. 
we both work full time and get off around 4.30, so it's important for us to know what we want. Late last week I had gotten somewhat sick with a stomach virus and was still recovering, however, the day I got really nauseated I ate a salad with a small burger and threw everything up. You know when you eat something while nauseous and throw it up, you kind of turn against it? Well that's what happened. So I warned my wife on Saturday. This week I want no salad or burgers. She said okay. Today we get home from work. I ask what we are eating since we both were indecisive. She said she didn't know but would get it started. I told her I would go take a shower and would be down. As soon as I exit the shower, I smell meat cooking. I go down and she literally made hamburgers. I told her hey, I thought we agreed no burgers for a while after I got sick. She replied well there isn't anything else to eat, so this is what we are having. Besides you aren't sick anymore. I sat in stunned silence for the remainder of the cooking and when she gave me the plate, I got up and threw it in the garbage and we got into a spat. I then yelled you did the exact ducking opposite of what I said not to do and I kicked the trash can and then told her I was leaving to go out to eat. I then slammed the door and sped off. She texted me calling me rude. I ignored her and enjoyed my meal outside. Was I an a-hole for doing this? Itta. I sat in stunned silence for the remainder of the cooking and when she gave me the plate. Really? Stunned silence? Shall we get one of those dolls they give to child abuse victims in court so you can point out where the mean lady hurt your feelings? Kicked a bin. Slammed the door and sped off. Because the mean lady made you a hamburger. Itta. From one guy with anger problems to another. Seek help. Please. For your wife and others around you. But most importantly for yourself. I know how normalized these feelings and resulting actions must be to you. But trust me, they're not normal or okay. They're highly destructive and will eat away at every part of your social life. And will ultimately leave you alone without anyone else to take your feelings out on. Get help before you do something you can't take back and you lose everything. Itta. Holy shit my man. First of all, grow the hell up. The smell of meat isn't going to kill you. I understand it made you feel sick. But there are a hundred other ways you could have told your wife you didn't want it. It's a hamburger, not poison. This would be a different story if you kindly reminded her you didn't want it. And she started an argument. But that's not what happened. You sound like a child. Screaming. Cursing. And kicking objects. Gross. Itta that sounds like abusive and controlling behavior. Itta, your wife needs to leave you. That is abusive behavior. You reacted irrationally and angrily. You're a grown man. If your tummy hurts make your own food. Whoa. You made it to the end? You're a ducking beast. I'll cut you a deal. Smash like and subscribe for more curated content more It's free and that's a great price. 